What's up guys, this is Philip Stard here and welcome to the fifth episode of my Java Clean Code online training series. And today's episode is going to be a very short episode and it's going to be a very quick and simple tip around string comparisons, especially against constants. So if you have a look at this small piece of code I have here, what is the problem? What, do, what should you not do that I'm doing in this piece of code? If we run that, it's going to be fine. It's going to print out hello Rory. But the problem is we are relying on name to not be null. So at any given stage in your code base, you're probably going to see this all the time, string comparisons, and you're relying on name to not be null. So if we put this to null and we save that and run that, you'll see it's going to throw a null pointer exception. So if you imagine your code base, if you have this scattered through everywhere, and at any point in time, the string that you're using to compare against the constant is null, you're going to get this null pointer exception. And in the majority of times, you don't want that to happen. You want to gracefully play that through your validation and not through a null pointer. So the easiest way and the way I recommend that you do string comparisons is you always put the constant first. So you say Rory, which is the constant, dot equals name. So now if we save that and play that, you'll see nothing's printed and we didn't throw a null pointer exception. So this is a very easy way to improve the quality of your copious unless you actually want to throw that null pointer, which is very, very rare. And of course, you can go ahead and change this back to Rory and play that in and you'll get it printing hello Rory. So that's my quick tip. I always write this in code reviews when I see it, and the majority of times we always change it. Or if I do see this through a code base, you know, I would have a wee bit of inspection and I would try and change it. So thank you for watching this very quick, uh, simple tip around string comparisons. I think it's very important that everybody knows this as it's so, so common. So thank you very much and stay tuned for part six.